M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're on the ICOM IC7000 and we've got ourselves a CT17 cable, about £17, and it works really well. So I've plugged it into the PC, and on the PC you see this, device manager, ports, and look, Silicon Labs, USB to, and, and it just installed the driver automatically, although the cable comes with the software if you need it. And then go over to, let's have a look here, at the back of your radio. You can see mine in the video there live. And if you look, it's the second black pin across. It says CIV remote jack, and you can see it just there. Once you've got that, download Chirp. You just click here, like so, and download Chirp. And you will end up with this window here on the right-hand side. And then you just go radio, select download from radio, Select the COM port that we saw in our device manager, which was COM10. There you can see that. ICOM and then IC7000. Click OK and you get this message that it actually, you know, does this live, OK? Which is unusual, but yeah. And then you can just read the radio and make different selections, show empty, special channels, properties. And... Um, I've literally done this for the first time. I'll do some more. Ah, there you are. It's found the special channels, was it? Show empty. Properties. We've got it in memory mode at the moment. Memory range. Let's have a look up here. Radio. Oh, you can actually import. Import data source. Let's try repeat, try repeat a book. Click OK, it's, it's showing for America here. I don't really want America. But anyway, we just click OK and it will it will find the load. And then you can import them. I'll do a separate video on that. But like it says, it does say it's doing it live. So maybe it's going to import all those channels live to my radio. It's freezing a bit. But I think for now... Just showing you how to get this up and running for now. More video later. Bye for now.